Hey guys, today's video is going to be a different video. I'm sorry I look rough, but there's a reason because I was born this way, but I'm just kidding. Um, but anyways, I got this palette in the mail from Pure Cosmetics, Pure Pro, Et Pure Pro Etienne palette. It's gorgeous. Um, I'll show you guys. Um, I'm going to do my face and everything in um, time lapse. And then um, when I get to my eyes, I'm going to show you guys this palette and what it looks like. And I'm going to use it for the first time. I'll let you uh, know what I think about it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hey guys, um, I did my eyebrows and I used this um, new pen that I got from Influencer, the Precisely My Brow Pencil from um, Benefit. This is amazing. I was saying, I did another video showing you um, how I use this. Um, I really love this. Um, I would definitely recommend it. I'm not very good with eyebrows. They look kind of harsh right now, but when I do my eyes, they won't look as bad. But my eyebrows are so misshapen, I need to go get them fixed because I'm not good at that. But this is seriously super easy to use. It's easy to do feather strokes and stuff like that. And but Anyways, okay, on to this product. I got the Pure Pro, Co Pro Cosmetics um, Etienne palette. I'm going to show it to you guys. looks like this guys sorry you can see the TV so pretty so pretty Ugh. oh god how'd it go out okay and here is the palette itself gorgeous and has like a little cover on there and here are the colors I already swatched them but here they are really nice neutral tone and it has like a little mirror and then I'm gonna do a look that um, these little things came with it these little papers right here and right here it gives you different looks and it tells you um, which colors to use so I think I'm gonna do this um, this look right here. I'm going to try to recreate that look. So, sorry about all the noises in the background. Alyssa, I need you to turn that down, please. So, I'm going to come okay, right Okay, guys, I'm back. Alright, I'm going to do this um, look right here. I'm going to try to recreate that look. I think it's really pretty. Okay, and it tells you exactly what colors to use and where to use them. So, on the lid it says to use Penny which is this coppery color but actually I think I should probably start with a crease lower lash line okay I'm gonna do an all over color first so I'm gonna use hold on I'm gonna get my brush I'm gonna use this little brush right here and I'm gonna use this um, color strip right here looks like that all over just as like a little base coat and I'm not the best with makeup but I really like makeup it's fun sorry about that noise I'm at my grandmother's she lives in an apartment so it can be a little loud alright so I'm gonna use that all over wow they're partying up there okay so I think I'm gonna start in the crease and it says to use the color Xenon, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, where are you at, Xenon? Here you are. Xenon is right there. And it's really pretty. Shimmer. Let's see. I'm going to use this little blending brush. And um, it has a mirror. So that's nice. 
It has a lot of fallout, which is normal with the um, shimmers. Let's start in the crease. Um, it's not a very dark color. You know what? I'm going to try this other brush. I'm going to use this brush, this blending brush. Let's see. It might be a color that I need to pack on a little bit. Okay. It's just a light wash of color. This brush works better than that other one. Oh yeah. That brush wasn't that good. It's a really pretty color. It's like a grayish, silverish kind of light color. I don't know how they get it so pigmented. Maybe they wet it. See how wet it looks? Maybe I should try this end to see if I can get it a little sharper. Um, my setting spray, where are you? Yeah, I'm going to try to wet it with some uh, setting spray. See if that'll help. Like with a color. I do do. I don't know if that's what they did, but that sort of looks like what it did. So I'm just going to take some of this e.l.f. setting spray. And I'm going to spray it on there. And this e.l.f. setting spray is amazing. And it's cheap. If you haven't tried it. So now that my brush is wet, I'm going to do it on this thing to kind of make it look sharper. It does help a little bit. And it goes to like here. Yeah, that helps. I think that might be what they did. Okay. Then Okay, then on the lid, um they used Penny. Where are you at, Penny? Okay, I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to spray it with some setting spray and I'm going to go in with um, Penny which is right here let's see it's a coppery color and I'm going to put that on my lid and try to pack it on like that Sorry, hold my mouth a weird way when I do my eyes. This is a really pretty color. I like this. Yeah. Alyssa, go help Granny, please. Sounds like somebody's trying to FaceTime her. Sorry about that. We're at my grandmother's. And somebody's trying to FaceTime her, but she don't know how to do it. Okay. So there's that. I'm going to use um, this, I mean, uh, sorry, wrong brush. This brush again, and I'm going to go over it with the um, transition color again. Try to blend it out a little bit. Okay, there's that. Then, that's the crease, lid, lower lash line. Okay, we're going to do Lola. Lola, where are you at, Lola? Lower lash line. Wait, it says lash line. Xenon. Okay. So, we're going to use, what would it say? Sorry. Lola, Lord Jesus, I'm a mess today, guys. 
here's Lola right here, and then I'm going to go over it with Xenon to lighten it up. Woo, that's really pigmented, guys. Really pigmented. Wow, that one's really pigmented. So, tap that off. This side's really dark. Everything's really pigmented and pretty and easy to use. It blends really nicely. Um, so far, I like it. Alright, so I did the Xenon. I mean, no, sorry, the Lola, as you can see. My lower lash line. And then I'm going to go over it with some Xenon. That color that I used on my crease. So, oh. there's that. Okay, and it looks like she has some eyeliner in her eye, um, waterline and some mascara on. So, actually, it doesn't say crease color. I mean, uh, um, eyebrow color. But, I'm going to go ahead and do that myself. And I'm going to use this little end of this brush and go into that strip again that I went over all over with and I'm gonna put that on my brow line right here yep I like it looks pretty very natural nice pretty look easy to blend like I said you can't tell it looks more harsh but it is blended nicely camera doesn't do it justice but I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner and my mascara off camera and I'll be back okay guys minus my hair <laughs> I'm done um, I finished up my eyes with um, this New York City or NYC city proof 24-hour eyeliner and I think it's dark brown I put that in my waterline and then I used, oops, sorry, I used my Marc Jacobs Velvet Velour, I think it's called, mascara. I love this mascara, you guys. Oh my god, it's amazing. Anyways, um, then I used this Buxom liquid lipstick and, hmm, I don't know what it's called, but it looks like this. And then I put a little bit of this over it. And I believe this is from Avon. I can't read it. It's too small. Maybe you guys can see it. But it's like um, this coppery color. Really pretty. I put that over it. But I'm done. So I think it looks good. Looks pretty. I really like that. I love that coppery color right there. It's pretty. But I really like it, guys. I think it looks pretty. So, anyways, alright guys, I'm done. Oh, I wanted to show you, like, the different looks that you can make. Like, the different variety of looks. Like a neutral, like a kind of smoky look, and then a really dark, sultry look. Um, I would definitely recommend this palette. It's really pretty, nice, neutrally colors. They got a nice variety between um, matte and shimmer. So I would definitely recommend that. Sorry, you can see yourself and me. But anyway, so I would definitely recommend these. Look at how pretty they are. One last time, all the nice champagne colors and then even the dark, deep colors. I love it. It's a nice variety. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I will try to leak a, leave a link down below if you're interested in buying it or looking at it yourself. So thanks for watching. Bye, guys.